Hi, and welcome to Lippy Presents Ghost News Network. Today is our paranormal news and discussion. Mike, you've got a topic for us? Yes, this kind of goes along with our, our question from the other day. Um, do you feel that religion plays a role in paranormal investigation? I mean, whenever I'm going into a location, I'm not personal. Uh, my faith is always with me. Mm -hmm. That's just something I carry with me no matter where I go. Um, but when I try to look at things, I try to look at it outside looking in and try not to let my perception of religion and things like that affect how I'm looking at uh, if it's a house case or something like that. Always want to look at what the client believes and things because depending on how we're going to, you know, the way we would approach a Jewish family might not be the same way we approach a Catholic family or might not be the same way we approach a Hindu family. And, and we've been in all three of those situations. Um, and it's just how do you tackle that? How do you if the person wants a cleansing, where do you go from that? Do they, are they Roman Catholic? Do they need a cleansing from a priest, not from us? Are they agnostic? Do they want a cleansing, but then you start taking in Native American rituals? What works for you might not work for me. I, I always have this mindset of, it's not necessarily the religion that's wrong. It's you have the power within you to help dispel these things. Right. So whether you're using your faith in order to build up that energy to help disperse whatever's there, um, I think is what ultimately comes down to. For me, it's, as we've said in the last few videos, my Greek Orthodox religion. That's what I believe in. That's what would help me dispel things. But going into an investigation, I always try to be outside looking in. But, I mean, to say that I'm not going to carry some kind of preconceived notion based on how I've been raised in my faith and religion, uh, you know, I'd like to say I, I, I can go in it with completely uh, outside look, but there's always going to be that way you were raised and the way you were, you know, what, that, it, it just it always carries with you. So, I would think, yeah, to some degree. So, I got kind of a two-part answer. So for me, yes. I, you know, my religious beliefs are definitely going to influence my beliefs and the way I treat a situation. But in the grand scheme of things, I don't think that matters because whatever the entity is, it doesn't care what your religious beliefs are. Like, you know, let, let's just talk from a demonic standpoint. A demonic doesn't care whether that person, and actually I shouldn't even say it doesn't care because, you know, I, I, there's cases that prove that you know, a demon may actually try to exploit someone who isn't strong in faith because they feel like they're more susceptible because they don't have that, that strong faith system. But ultimately, that entity doesn't really care whether you believe, because it does. So that's kind of what how I stand with it, Liz. But for me, I think it, it helps me make my decisions, protect myself, mm -hmm. and protect those around me by believing what I do and, you know, Kind of like you, you know what you were saying last time with the demonic, I I would feel a little more equipped to deal with that because of my belief system. I feel like you know my, my faith could help yeah. deal with something like that. Whereas something say like a jinn, you know that doesn't fall as much into my faith, and maybe that makes me more susceptible. So. And, and not that it always happens, but when you just because you mentioned demonology, not that it always happens this way, but it tends to be that most of the people that get possessed and have to deal with those types of things, uh, mainly in p cases of possession, they don't tend to have religious backgrounds. Uh, they tend to be atheist or agnostic. They're not usually unbaptized and, and things like that. They tend to be the... the case of Emily Rose is usually what I use as the baseline. You know, she was a nun. I believe she wasn't baptized, if I remember correctly. And um, she had no faith in God or anything like that. And, Supposedly, they say that whenever she was being exercised, the angel um, asked, you know, if you have faith in God, we can help get you get this out. And she renounced God, and then she passed away from the exorcism. Um, so, yeah, I think that absolutely plays a role in terms of, you know, uh, the client or whoever you know. <laughs> um, I, 
I don't know, I guess I have mixed feelings. I was brought up um, in a Lutheran church, made my thing in, baptized the whole nine yards, um, but I don't, you know, I did that as a kid. Mm -hmm. Now growing up, having my own feelings, I don't follow any religion, I, I guess I don't follow anything. I'm more of the believer in there's energy, everything's made up of energy, and, you know, I don't know. I, I, I guess I'm not as, ex you know, I'm not experienced in different types of haunts, so right. I'm not sure how that would affect me, but thinking about a demonic haunt, knowing what you know about that, I would, I guess that makes me nervous. Like, does my lack of, of a religious faith kind of make me more susceptible, like you're saying, possibly, or, you know, does it potentially just kind of, I don't know, well, I just float alongside and not really be affected. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. Just satellite um, around just, it. Just kind of float around. If we push you into a room and the rest of us run, you'll understand why. Yeah, <laughs> Sacrificial lamb. <layout. laughs> she believes in nothing. Take her. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I guess I, I don't know enough yet, or haven't experienced enough yet in the field I, to to truly know or mm -hmm. have a feeling. Or I always say you can't say you believe in demons but not believe in religion. Because that's where that's the literature comes from, you know. I come up with, with right. Shannon, actually. Um, I think at Rogers, we talked about, well, if you don't have a religious faith, and there's there's definitely evidence of demonic haunts. Mm -hmm. But on the flip side, if you don't believe in a religion, how do you believe in a demon? You, so then, you, really... you know, there's the, all these people out there who don't believe in demons, and then there's some people who believe in demons right. who have claimed to have been affected by them. So where does that... Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. But also just to like touch on what you're saying, what if you don't believe in God or you don't believe in, or don't mm -hmm. have a religion, would that make you more susceptible to a demon or would that make you less because if you're not giving it right. like the acknowledgement and like right. feeding into mm -hmm. it? I don't think it matters either way, to be mm -hmm. my personal opinion. Right. I think that the amount of cases that are out there, I think it's, I bet Something. half of them... Believe didn't it believe it. The other half did. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't think it has one way or the other. Um, personally, that's my personal opinion on it. Um, my biggest thing would be when you talk. If you're a paranormal investigator and you talk about believing in demonic haunts and demonics, how do you not believe in God? Mm -hmm. I mean, a demon is a fallen angel. So if you are agreeing that yes. There is this type of haunting, and yes, there are demons. Yeah. How do you know people <laughs> God? You can't sit there and be like, well, I'm agnostic. But I believe in demons. <laughs> that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? It really doesn't make sense. So, And that's really where the thought comes in, and that's my question to the audience, is if you are agnostic and you don't believe in any religion, but you believe in the power of demonic haunts and demons, you need to question, you need to really sit back and question that because you're completely on two opposite sides, you right. know? It's one thing to be like, I'm agnostic, I don't believe in any religion, I don't believe in demons. Cool, it works, it flows. <laughs> the other one just doesn't flow too much. I think it's up. And I'm not saying just because you believe in God, you have, you know, you're a specific religion. Like, I could not even last someone to church. I couldn't tell you I don't know. Probably last time somebody passed away. Or if there was a, a, a christening or something in my family. I don't go to church. It doesn't make me not religious. I mean, could you claim, if you don't believe in the personification of this God figure, mm -hmm. could you believe in, the, in, in being spiritual? You're just, you're, I guess, holding on to that, that energy spirit type. Yeah, that's um, what I was going right? to say. You know? like, I don't really have like a, like a religion, but I would say that I do believe that, like, things happen for a reason mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. the universe is you know like whatever it is i don't know there, there's something there whatever you want to call it magic fate whatever <laughs> you could right? look at it like, like, without you personifying can, but you if you believe in something like where does that put you mm -hmm. i still question when you talk okay. about a demonic haunting and if you truly believe that yes there are these things that happen it, demonic hauntings are religious based Nothing more, nothing less. It's religious based. It's not a residual. It's not an intelligent. It's not a shadow person. It's mm -hmm. based off a of religion. That's where demonics come from. And when you talk about fallen angels, that's what they are. So that's where it's... 
I question a lot of people when when they say that because it's like you believe that, but you don't believe the you believe the bad, but not the good. Basically, that's what it comes down to. You, you know, can't have like one said, without the other. You can't have one, and I'm not saying just because you believe in God, that doesn't mean that it's based on Christianity or Judaism. Or they, there's there's probably what two thousand religions out there. Mm -hmm. Who's the same one's right and one's not? How do you know there's not just one dude up there that's like? <laughs> 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 you know, like, I think there's a supreme being, whatever that is, call it whatever you want. I think, I me, mean, that's my personal views. Um, I don't think my religion's right over yours, you are, right. I can care less, you know. Um, but I think that there's something, there's something. Mm -hmm. I think that there is definitely, you know, when you talk about demons, you're talking about hell. The other side is heaven. You know, so it, it's, mm -hmm. it's that balance, you know, so that, that's where it goes upon, you know. Um, like I said, I believe that there's something. I just don't know what. I couldn't tell you. I'm not dead. I always look at it like <laughs> you, you look at you look at science, and there's good bacteria and there's bad bacteria, right. and there's you know neutral bacteria. There's there's everything. You know, there's stuff that's good for you, there's stuff that's bad for you, and there's stuff that's just there. Right. You know, I look at you know angels are good for you, demons are bad for you, ghosts are just there. <laughs> yeah. right. I try to look at it, you know, try to look at it as scientifically as you can. You can't say that there's, and, you know, there's always something else. And a lot of people do mix up demonics with negative entities or negative spirits. Right. So if you're an that. asshole when you're alive, most likely if you die and you come back, you're probably going to be an asshole. Probably a bigger asshole than what you were. You know, so, you know, that that's, a lot of people think that just because negative things are happening, right, it's demonic. No. The, the odds of it happening are, are very rare. Usually that's uh, our case requests in October after all the horror yeah. movies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does that's, anybody else have anything you want to add? No, that's just a thought. Oh, that's, it's... That's, that's where I leave you. And what do you guys think about that? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you haven't yet, give this video a like, share, and subscribe. You can also click the little notification bell to know when all of our content is being uploaded to YouTube. So thank you guys very much for joining us on this latest edition of Ghost News Network. And until next time, take care guys.